Hey everyone, it's Jen with Chappy Plans. Thanks for joining me for a, another Plan With Me video. Today I'm going to be planning in my social media planner, so if you'd like to see what I'm going to do, stick around. What's up, Chappy fam? I am feeling so much better. I'm still like, I still have a little bit of sniffles and a cough here and there, but... The sinus pressure has left the building, thank God. Uh, also, thank God that I filmed like all my videos in a matter of two days and I've had like an entire week to not use my voice. Um, I don't know that I would have recovered as quickly. Um, but anyways, thanks for all the well wishes. Um, and those of you who are following me over on Instagram, which if you're not, you should, I started doing chappy chats again. So that's just a way I check in with y'all every day and just say hi. Sometimes I show my face, sometimes I don't, but I always like to just check in and share what I'm working on and just what's going on in life. So anyways, today I'm in my social media planner, which is this section here. And we're in October, which is kind of crazy. The third through the ninth. I've already dated it because, you know, me and dates, we're not friends, and I always screw it up. So I went ahead and dated the whole month of October. Um, and I'm going to be using the, I have these left over from last year when I was on Caitlin's rep team, but then I also received these in my current rep team package. And I have a bunch of fall garland sheets as well because I love garlands. So I'm going to be using these as, like, the main star of the show. And in true Caitlin fashion, I will be using some patterned papers. This one is from Die Cuts with a View. And it's got some text on the back that pertains to like flowers in general, because this came from like a floral pack. And I just like this neutral ledger paper. And then I also have different washies. I'm not sure. I know I want to use this copper foiled um, skinny washi from Simply Gilded. And I'm thinking it's gonna pair with this washi, but I also have this one, which is like, they're not quite black dots, they're they're dark brown, and they kind of remind me of Caitlin's little like dotty style. So I don't know, we'll see. And then I've got my old jewel tone boxes because there are copper boxes in the back of the book. So I will be using these for functional. And yeah, that's it. That is it. I am going to probably do like a, let's see, if I tear it, I always gotta figure out, cause I want the white part of the paper to show, so I could go this way. And if you're using paper in your planner, always tear larger because you can't go smaller, but you can, or you can go smaller, but you can't obviously make it larger, the size of paper that you want that is. So I think I'm gonna do a, cluster here and then a cluster up here and then a cluster down here maybe so let's see um, I kind of want it to be like um this and then I'll do one sort of maybe this way and I think that'll be pretty balanced okay nice now this one is like too long so I need to let's see This maybe. Mm. All right. It does cover up Saturday, but that's okay. And then I'm going to use my Tombow adhesive. Ugh. 
it's funny because when I'm planning without paper, I'm usually much more, I do a lot more, like I do the functional part first and then I do the decorative part. But I think when I'm using papers, I know that I have to have my like clusters established, if that makes sense. So um, I want to do that first and then put the boxes down because the boxes will overlap the clusters. I'm going to peel the eight off and put it here. <laughs> Even though you can't see Saturday, but that's okay. All right, and then I need a little bit more tape right here. This is not my favorite tape runner. It always catches, I don't know why, if it's like just me, but you would think since it's a Tombow product, you know, it's a little bit pricier, you would expect higher quality. I, it could be user error, but I just feel like it's always catching like this part here. The, the tape gets stuck here and then it builds up and then it won't run. It's kind of annoying. So, but I have like two more um, <sighs> refill packs. I couldn't think of the word left. And I feel like, you know, I have to use it because, you know, I spent the money on it, right? Um, but I do prefer the dot adhesive over this for sure. So then I'm just going to line it up. You can probably still hear in my voice. Well, maybe not, but I can tell that I sound a little congested, a little mannish. <laughs> I haven't exercised in like, I don't know, a week and I feel very weird about it because I do it for my mental health. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me. It just, yeah, I did yoga today though, which was lovely. See, it's already stuck. See that? See that? It's stuck right there. Then you got to pull it off. It's, yeah. But I feel like that doesn't happen with the um, dot adhesive for whatever reason. So just, I don't know. I don't know why it does that. Let me know if you have the same issue or if it's just me. Probably just me. All right. Now I need to cut through here. Whoop. Okay. Cute. I have no idea what I'm going to do, so. I do feel like we need a garland on each side. I just think that that's the most appropriate thing to do. Um, do I want to put washi down first? Maybe. Probably a good idea. I want it to be like distressed looking and ripped. Mind frame, okay. And usually down here is where I'll like put real information. Um, okay, definitely doing the copper. Ooh, that's really pretty. Yeah, I love that. And I don't know if I want to bring this in or not.
Hmm. I'm very torn about it. Get it? Torn? <laughs> Sorry, I had to. All right, let's just leave that for now. And I actually think I want to put a box up here before, or at least figure out like where the box is going to go for my header. Mm hmm. Hmm. Maybe. I... Cause this one's gonna go here. And I'm gonna want this one to be across from it, but I don't want it to overlap this because then it's gonna look too redundant. So maybe it needs to go on the top. I think I'm okay with that. All right, I think that's good. I can't, I can't fully tell, <laughs> but it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this out. And then put in my own. Oops, I went over top of the paper. No worries, you could just tear it. Look at that. Love that for me. All right. Now I can think about banners. I had to get this part out of the way for some reason. It's folly all like this. Or do I want it on the left side? I don't know. Maybe I want to put it over here. What? That's crazy. I think I'm going to do that because I never, not never, but I don't really use Monday because I work on Mondays. Like this is work, but I mean like my part-time job. I feel like it's a little crooked, but it's good enough. <laughs> it's down and you can see all the letters. So winning. The only thing I need to do is put some washi over here maybe, or maybe I, well, I could do like a little bit. That's so cute. I'm all done. <laughs> Just kidding. So, I had the most gnarly sinus infection. <laughs> I have, I used to get them like multiple times a year and they would become like these crazy bronchitis, like sinusitis combinations. And then sometimes it would turn into pneumonia and it was just like a whole thing. Thank God that has not happened. Seriously, thank God. In years, like it's been years since that has happened to me. So I was actually like somewhat grateful that it had been that long um, since I had been sick like that. So... I think I'm gonna do, or do I need the smaller size? Sorry, hold on. I'm trying to figure out where, where else I want to use garlands. I might even. I think I'm gonna do something funky and crazy, and do some garlands this way. And then do some here. And then maybe even more somewhere else. But for now, I'll start up here. 
Um, so I was like bummed that I got sick, obviously, but also grateful that it had been so long since it used to be such like a regular occurrence for me. And, um, you know, people who have autoimmune disorders like I do and have asthma are more prone to have an illness of, of that type or to be, to, you know, get infections and stuff like that. So are the pumpkins too big? They might be. Sorry, pumpkins. I don't know if I can use you. Oh, what was left on that other sheet? I had like some that had a few left. Okay, the smaller ones. Um, sorry, so distracted. I just, yeah, felt horrible. And because I was sick, um, <laughs> of course it was like a week where I had so many plans, like so many plans for Nora's school and things that I was doing. Like she had, um, a back to school bash and I'm on the PTA and I was supposed to do the craft table at this like back to school bash. It was basically like a dance and they had a craft table. I, w I kind of want that to come all the way up though. That's going to bother me. So let me see if I can, oops, excuse you, rude. I wonder if I can extend it. Well, I obviously didn't end up going because I was sick and didn't want to share my germs, uh, even though I could wear a mask and everything. And yes, I tested for COVID all week, kept coming back negative. Um, but I, <laughs> the funny part is I had volunteered my dear husband to be the DJ and like basically not really a DJ. It's just, you know, there's a preloaded playlist and you just have to press play and take requests and play them um but so but he doesn't know anybody in the PTA really and he's not you know I'm the one that's more involved in Nora's school and knows like the teachers and the students the, at least the ones in her class and they know me and all that kind of stuff so I was like it was a lot for me with OCD just having to be like resigned to the fact that okay, like you can't go, you're not going to get to participate and, you know, do the craft table and see Nora have fun with her friends. Never mind all that, but you also have to let go of the fact that you cannot supervise your poor husband and help him out. <laughs> so I like that. Um, he was left to his own devices and... Yeah, I felt bad, but they had a great time. I don't think Nora cared that I wasn't there. <laughs> Stinker. I really don't, um, which is good. You know, like I'm, I'm glad. Ish. <laughs> also kind of sad. But. And then, what were the other plans? I'm just going to use this to extend the garland. Um, so that was Friday. You know, I stayed home and watched some movie. Oh, what was it called on Netflix? Best... Uh, I don't remember. It had Britney Snow in it. It was really cute. Um, three girls, you know, in their late 20s, heading to 30 and kind of doing this like last hurrah night in the city, New York City. It was cute. What the heck was it called? Not Girls Night. Uh, maybe? I don't know. If you know what I'm talking about, comment down below. You probably don't, because I'm not making much sense right now. 
Um, anyways, I'm trying to figure out now where I want another garland because I, I should have had it going this way because, yeah, that's, I don't, I need to have some more movement. So I'm going to do one down here. And I'm going to put a box first before I, to build like the garland around. Let's see. The square and a quarter box. So I just stayed on the couch. I couched it. <laughs> oh. And then um, Saturday, Nora had gymnastics in the morning as usual. So Matt took her, it was his first time taking her without me because she just started gymnastics, like she's never taken it before at all. So I had gone to the first couple classes for moral support. And um, oh, I just have like these little tiny bits left. I feel like I need to use them. Or at least this piece. Then he took her to the Great Escape, which is like our local Six Flags, uh, because he promised her he would. And then he took her from there to the Adirondack Balloon Festival, which is like this big festival they have every year. It's amazing. Um, really, really quite something to see for sure. It's like all these you know, big hot air balloons that people come from all over and they all go up at the same time and they do like a morning flight and an evening flight so that you can see them like go off across the sunset. It's really cool. So they did that. So by the time I think that, and then they got stuck in traffic because there was like a huge accident or something. And so they did not get home until like 10 o'clock at night. So I was like literally alone all day, which was lovely but also I really missed Nora which is which was I don't often have the opportunity to miss her because I'm always with her so um that was kind of cool ish I guess like if you want to look at it that way all right I'm gonna do some more boxes and then I can add some more decorative elements so I need to have space for my reels use this one. Oh, I it's cut funny look at Ugh, happy planner. Sorry, oh, my husband called. Um, I did remedy it. I just like sliced the bottom of another one and put it over the top. But they're all cut off. Like all these stickers are cut ro crooked. Whatevs, happy planner, whatevs. This is where I put my reels. And I'm going to have to, I'll show you how I did it. So I just did this. And then this. So annoying. Okay. And then... There we go. And then what else do I need? Boxes. I like to put boxes on Tuesday and Wednesday. And let's see. Could do one here. I wanted to use this dot one to go with the one on the right. Then I saw some, yeah, these triangles. Just 
just to switch it up. Boxes, you know, dot stickers, dot markers, any kind of little bullet arrows, things like that could be used to indicate tasks or to-dos. I just think sometimes using something like this can break up the, like the boxiness. So yeah, so Saturday I had all day to myself and then I for the second week in a row, did not attend church, which was like so sad for me because I love my church and it's where I work. So it was very disappointing that I was not able to go. Ooh, I'm gonna put, I don't have enough triangles. Oh wait, I might, because I have another one of these. Hold on. I think this one's brand new. Yeah, because I got two of these. I think it was, I honestly don't remember, but I think, oh, these are cut crooked too, nice. It was part of a, what are they called? I don't have a planner anymore, but um, Be Happy Box, I think. And so, yeah, I that's why I had these. Oh, I see the lines are over here, Jen. Ew, okay. Well, that changes things a little bit, doesn't it? That means this goes here and you come over here. Okay. So I didn't go to church Sunday and Nora ended up staying home with me and we watched virtually because she was so tired from all the day before, which is totally fair. I didn't have a problem with her missing church. And um, my husband went on his own and then he went to go for the day to go watch football. Well, not the whole, well, yeah, it was the whole day because I think they went into overtime. He goes to my pastor's um, husband and he are both uh, loyal, <laughs> bless them, loyal Lions fans. So they uh, they watch the game and they watch them lose, I guess, in overtime, which is sad for them, but not shocking. I think I am going to bring this in. Anybody, anybody here a Lions <laughs> fan brave enough to admit it or I guess loyal i'm not into i'm not a big sports person in general like i i can be okay without it um but my husband and his family are like all about sports so they um they do all the sports watching and but I do love college sports. Like now that I have, it's so fun. It's just a totally different vibe. Like my husband's family is from around Michigan State and both of his parents went there. So we are Michigan State fans and it's just really fun. We've been to a couple games, both basketball and football. I love it. So we do like to watch college football and college basketball. Um, I think I'm going to do a little, a little bit over here. Where's my, thank you Shade for this lovely washi. One of my planner besties sent this to me. She doesn't have a YouTube channel, but she, um, is over on Instagram and she's amazing. So you should be following her if you're not. Love you, boo. Now, I think I like that. I don't know, before I add in washi, let's do these. I'm sorry, this video is so long, but you know, sometimes it's been a while and I feel like chatting, okay? Put this one here. 
These little acorns are so cute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but Caitlin is doing an advent calendar for the first time. And I don't know if you can still pre-order or not. I, I, yeah, I'm not sure. Sorry. But if you didn't, um, you definitely need to go check it out because she can do no wrong, in my opinion. So she's doing, a, there's a lot of people. I mean, I feel like all the sticker shops do an advent calendar, or most of them do. Um, and I know they can be more pricey, so. No pressure, obviously. But if you want to uh, take a look, you can use my code too which they don't always allow that, like when you're doing, um, you know, when a shop's doing an, or, uh, an event like that, they don't always allow you to use a rep code or a discount on top of like the deal, the bundle. Okay, I don't like where this big leaf is, so undo for the win. Casey pleasantly planned had me cracking up because I was watching her video. She uses undo a lot and she's talking about how it says that there's like cancer causing ingredients or something in the, in, in the undo. And I was like, Oh, I didn't know that. Oh man, I didn't get it down here. Um, <laughs> so she's like, and you'll know, cause you'll have this film on your fingers after you use it. And I was like, Oh, oops. I guess I'm giving myself cancer. I, here's how I feel about <laughs> stuff like that. Yes, wash your hands. Try not to like use it often or like ingest it, obviously. Uh, but I also feel like <sighs> part of me is just like, it's everything causes cancer. No, just me. I don't know. That's how I feel. I feel like, dude, I like probably breathing in cancer causing ingredients with the candles I use and the, you know, I do, we do use Grove for like all of our cleaning products, but for us, wow, that really got butchered. Um, now I feel like I need to cover it up anyway. What the heck? I use Grove because, well, yeah, the ingredients are cleaner, um, but because most of their, like, their products are meant for sustainability and they are really conscious of the carbon footprint that they leave behind, and so are we. So, anyhow, that is really bad. Way to think it through, Jen. I don't know. I'll figure something out. All right. Do this size. But then that acorn's too big. Here, we'll use this one. Sometimes I'm funny about proportion sizes, and sometimes I don't care at all. I don't like that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. All right. Now we're gonna, excuse me, I'm gonna come over here. Maybe we'll do a little situation up here. Does it make sense? Absolutely not. <laughs> oh. 
Normally I trim the stickers and all that and that, but I can't be bothered because we've already been here for a year. So I don't want y'all to like, well, if you clicked off, you already clicked off, right? <laughs> Too bad, so sad, Jen. All right. I hope you're not getting sick of the fall spreads because I will be doing these for, <laughs> for the next few months because I'm obsessed. Yay. I love fall everything. So I don't want to do a cluster here because I have one here. I guess I could do it like here. And then I have stars. These are so cute. Sorry, I'm not really talking. I uh, I zoned out, so I just sped up that part because I wasn't saying anything and I realized I was sitting here in silence. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tired. I'm not still like fully myself, you know what I mean? You know when you're like almost better, but not quite. That's where we are. That's where I am. Kind of like, hmm. Are we okay? We don't really know. Ooh, sticker bits on the, did not have that. I like was zoned out completely. <laughs> kind of funny. All right. I do need to figure out what to do about that debacle. That disaster. That one's a little big. I want a smaller one for there. And right there. I love these stars. Why are you yelling? I don't know. Let me look at the overall spread okay I think it looks really good I'm just gonna add a star over here and I think that's gonna be it I need to punch holes Sometimes they don't punch all the way through. Most of the time they do. I think it's just being finicky. I did just clean it out too, so it should be good. And then I just need to trim here, 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 anywhere else. All right, the last thing I think I'm gonna do is add some of this washi to the boxes. I wasn't sure if I was gonna do that or not, but I think yes. It's already like a crazy busy spread, so why not? <laughs> it's already nuts. Let's make it crazier. Yes. Let's do it. I don't know. Sometimes I like simple and sometimes I go extra. You know what I mean? And I'm feeling extra today. Okay. We're done. There it is. I love it. All right, friends. So thanks for hanging out with me and listening to me ramble in very haphazard, choppy thoughts. 
uh welcome to my brain um let me know what you think of this video and if you love these stickers as much as i do you can use the link in my description box as always i appreciate you for being here if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already hit the bell too so you don't miss any of my content and i'll see you in the next video friends take care and remember that you are enough bye